What's up YouTubers? This is Jonathan Lissima back to your screens and I'm going to be reading to Calling All Engines. As you can see I, bu I bought this book from a gift shop at Bodium Castle which I went to during my school days at Bentley Manor before I graduated. Here we go. Calling All Engines in the summertime, the engines were kept busy collecting lots of visitors from the docks. One day, the bat controller told the engines an airport was being built on Sodor. It will bring even more visitors, so the island must be perfect, he said. Thomas and Percy talked about the airport as they moved wagons. Percy couldn't wait to see the aeroplanes. But then, Ari and Bert arrived. Stinky steamies, Harry said rudely. Thomas thought the diesels were oily and mean. Bert and Harry bragged to Thomas about an important job they had to do. Thomas decided to play a trick on them. He bumped their trucks so wood fell all over the tracks. Oops, said Thomas meanly. Now you'll be late for your important job and he smugly chuffed away. Later on, when Thomas met Percy in the yard, they laughed about Thomas's trick. They didn't notice that Diesel was behind them. You won't want to stop me from doing the important job, Diesel said. But Thomas decided to trick him too. Thomas and Percy had to fetch steel girders from the smelter's yard, but when they saw Diesel 10 and his powerful claw, they were scared and left without them. That evening, Thomas was shocked to see that Tidmouth sheds had been knocked down. The Diesel's special job had been to build new ones as a surprise for the steam engines. Silly tricks made us too late to rebuild them, said Diesel, and we couldn't build anything with bananas said the fat controller crossly. The steam engine slept in other sheds that night. Thomas stayed with Emily. He felt guilty as he knew his tricks had caused all the trouble. That night, there was a fierce storm. Strong gusts of wind ripped roofs off buildings and blew over trees. The engines were very frightened. A few hours later, some cables on the suspension bridge snapped. Suddenly, the heavy bridge crashed down into the valley below. The next morning, Thomas saw the mess. Bust my buffers, he cried, and he hurried to Tidmouth to meet the other engines. Unless we clear the storm damage, we can't open the airport on time, the fat controller said sadly. All the engines wanted to help. The fat controller told Thomas to take a beam to the suspension bridge. It is heavy, so you may need help with it. He added, A diesel wouldn't need any help, said Diesel slyly. I don't need any help either. I can do it on my own, said Thomas proudly. But the beam was long and very heavy. Thomas, pu Thomas pushed it slowly along the track. He was going to ask Ari and Bert for help, but they laughed at him, so he slowly went on by himself. When Thomas got to the bridge, he wanted to rest, but first he had to lift the beam into place. Slowly, it's lifted into the air. Steam engines are better than diesels, he bragged, which made diesel cross. Later, when Thomas was delivering paint, he didn't see diesel behind him. We'll see who's best, diesel said as he shoved Thomas's wagon. Sploosh! Splosh! Colourful paint splashed all over Thomas. Diesel laughed loudly as he rolled away. Before long, all the diesels and steamies were fighting. They got so dirty that soon they all needed to be cleaned at the washdown. The engines had been too busy arguing to do any of the repairs. No visitors will want to come here, said the fat controller crossly. The engines were ashamed. 
That night, the Indians dreamt about what could happen if there were no visitors. Gordon dreamt he was used as a climbing frame. Thomas dreamt about Lady and Rusty, a diesel and a, st and a steamy who worked well together. This gave him an idea, but he needed Mavis's help. He decided to find her in the morning. Thomas knew Mavis was a kind diesel who would help him. Please bring the diesels to a meeting in the morning, he said. Mavis agreed. She knew something had to be done. But Thomas was a little late for the meeting. The diesels and steam engines were about to start arguing again when he arrived. We have to work together, he said. If the airport doesn't open, we won't have any passengers or freight, so we won't be useful. The engines agreed that they should forget their quarrels and work together. The fat controller was delighted. With all the engines working together, the repairs were soon done. The engines were excited to hear that the first aeroplane was on its way. But then, disaster struck! As Thomas moved the last trucks, they hit a faulty buffer. They crashed across the tracks and bashed into a water tower. The water tower fell over, making a huge crack in the runway. It had to be repaired or the aeroplane won't be able to land. Workmen cleared the runway, but they needed George the steamroller to flatten it and Harvey needed help clearing the fallen trucks off the tracks. Thomas offered to fetch George and get more help. He was coupled to a flatbed truck and as soon as Harvey cleared, Harvey had cleared a track, he set off. Thomas went to find Diesel 10. He was a bit scared of him, but he knew Diesel 10 could help Harvey clear all the rubble off the tracks at the airport. Thomas timidly asked Diesel 10 for help. All right, Diesel 10 replied immediately. Let's go. Thomas then realised that Diesel 10 wasn't scary after all. Thomas and Diesel 10 fetched George and hurried to the airport. The other engines were very surprised to see them together. Good work, George, said the workman as he flattened the runway. It was soon ready for the aeroplane to land. All the diesels and steam engines helped clear the tracks. Working with diesels was fun, said Thomas. You steamies weren't too bad either, laughed Diesel 10. At last, the aeroplane landed at the airport. The engines all honked their horns and happily blew their whistles. That evening, the steam engines had a nice surprise. We have new sheds, Thomas said happily. Tidmouth, shed, Tidmouth sheds are bigger now, so Emily can live there too said the fat controller. Emily was thrilled. I'm glad we're friends with the diesels now, said Percy. Yes, it's good to know that like us, they just want to be really useful engines, replied Thomas happily. And from then on, the diesels and the steam engines were all happy to work together. And that's it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this reading video. I'll see you later. Until next time, leave a like on this video for more and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm also available on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram and Tumblr. Bye!